welcome to the Talking Heads Club. To the Talking Heads Club. We have entered a new year. And with that comes a new age of enlightenment. A new age of salvation. A new age of freedom. And we have gathered here today to celebrate that new age. Hi, I'm Jake Funk. And I'm here. To, uh, I don't know to give. All right, and I'm here to do a podcast. All right, let's keep going. Who's who's right there? Who's below me? I don't know, dude. Hey, Brian. Who is that? Who's that? Some, some crazy boy. Weren't we talking about that song? Who Isn't that it? boy? Who, who, who uh, that yeah, boy? this is uh, Michael Drury bringing Drury. you the only uh, unbiased news um, straight from the source. Uh, I will provide no opinionated news. I will only give facts and truth. That's all that will come out of my mouth for the rest of 2020. 2020. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Great. All right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for that. All right. And to to my left or right or wherever it is, is... Benjamin Anderson, you know, I I'm introducing him because he's he's busy right now, as you can see. He has he okay, you know, you might be like, wow, that's so rude. Ben's eating at the start of the podcast, but it's not, it's not, and I will explain why. Ben's so goddamn busy, uh, and and yeah, I'm gonna curse because guess what? I don't care. We can be de- not, we can be demonetized. I don't fucking care. Ben's so goddamn busy doing all this shit for us. He that logo. He's working on other logos and shit. Okay, that's how we recoup the losses from Jake's profanity. Is logos, uh, yeah, merch sales. Yeah, logos well, and I advert mean, sales. It's true. We've got those pop up ads that we're not getting any commission from. Yeah, I don't. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, yeah, we can't even see. What, YouTube. If you're watching this, email me. Okay, we need to talk. We have. We need to have a talk. Um, what do you think? The... Those pop up ads could be like for Viagra. I'm okay. afraid. Okay. Viagra. Ironic if you're watching this, Viagra and let's talk. Pop up. Me and you. Me and you. Not them. That would be a perfect ad. That would be the perfect... Is it? Wow. I don't... Viagra, sponsor us, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, yo, if Viagra if... wanted to sponsor us, I'd take it. I think there I are... I would give myself ED so I could rate... So I could give Viagra a <laughs> good rating. Oh, God. How, do you, how does one give themselves ED? I don't know. I would start doing, like, a death grip on my dick or something. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Just that you just turned that shit to purple mush, bro. I don't, I don't think that's erectile dysfunction. I think that's just like broken. I mean, it doesn't work anymore. You guys, remember, I guess, I guess you're I right. Say, I won't say his name, but John will know what I'm talking about. He'll know who it is. Yeah, Rip John. There was a guy, huh? What? There was a guy that we went to high school with, who <clears throat> he was telling us about his masturbatory habits which already I don't want to hear about yeah I was going to say if anybody's doing that already it's a bad kind of bad start was this Dale close but we're not, no we're not going to say names um, not, we're not going to say names and it's, okay and it's not this it's is an not, anonymous say last names an, no we're, no, not, we're just not, not going to say names close, close it, compatriot. Uh, not you mean, even, you not mean uh, were you talking about stale my friend stale whale um, whale but he was talking about how he what was it it was basically like it was literally just a race to the finish for him he was just like he was like i just go as hard and as fast well you know that's <laughs> that's I just can. uh that's just you know everybody has their own methodology you know and he's he's like a sprinter yeah he's like a sprinter in track you know but he's he's the short distance <laughs> Then you have your long runners, you know, that that are like, you know, full day, 24 hours, you know. They just wake up and end the day on it. <laughs> Michael Bryan, do not support that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get that purple mush. That's how you do that. Uh, anyways, That's all right. Welcome to the mush. Talking Heads. Welcome to the Talking <laughs> Heads freak. Club. Purple mush edition. All right. Uh, <laughs> nothing has happened this week. Been a boring week. Fucking snooze. <laughs> Oh, wake me up when fucking Fake. 2021 starts, you know. Uh, oh, actually, guys, biggest, you know, I don't like getting political on here. Okay. But 
Sometimes we're forced to because, you know, we're a gaming podcast. <laughs> we're a gaming <laughs> podcast, obviously. Uh, so when, you know, when politics and games come crossover, you know, we got to talk about it. So, and the game so we're talking about up. Jeffrey Star and Kanye West. Shut the fuck up, Michael. Right? We're not talking about that. I told you before we started we're not talking about that. And uh, fucking heads will roll after this is over, okay? So shut the fuck up, mm. please. Anyways. Um... Yeah, so oh, PogChamp. PogChamp, gone. What? PogChamp is over. The era of PogChamp. Uh, I, I we said it was is. a new age. What? Uh, I don't know what PogChamp This is, is a gaming podcast, man. I mean, no, PogChamp. Oh, I mean, I know what that is. What That's is, PogChamp. Like, PogChamp. Come on, Ben. I don't know. It We're Zoomers. We're supposed to it. know this. We're supposed to know this. My little bog champ. What are you talking about? Look, I'm gonna be real with you, Jake. You guys have been making those like those bog champ jokes all week, and I, ha- I mean, I haven't got it once. I've, it's it's went right over my head every time. You, do, right you keep doing that face, mind. and you, I, it keeps going right <laughs> over my head. Bro, I know like the, every time. I know the e- I know the emote that you're talking about, but <laughs> it's bog champ. Get, like I've never. I, th- Saying it doesn't make me understand. It's Pop Champ, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so because of the uh, the uh, writers, terrorists, whatever you want to call them, who uh, raided the Capitol yesterday, uh, they... I uh, say we rest on terrorists. Uh, they, uh, well, you know, I call them patriots. Misguided followers. <laughs> Okay, side side. Note. Okay, so I I said there's no followers. news. I said there's no news. We're obvi- obviously shit went down like yesterday. Capital got raided. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and obviously you come to hear our opinion. <laughs> yeah, on it you want to hear our yeah, opinion on it? No, really it was funny right. though because I didn't know how Ooh, many of look at that bag. The, yeah, that was hot. If anybody saw that, that slim you guys, flat side profile. Somebody clip that. Oh, got Twitch floppy. talk in here already. So somebody clip that. That's some more Twitch talk. Right here. Oh wow. Like right, right at my belt line. It fucking popped, and I. It was like a. Can you do that again? You but need like, to. You just put the camera a little the lower. Pop, bro. This could have been like one of them ASMR pop videos. Do you guys well, watch those chiropractic eating. videos? Because I watch them. Like, I mean, I'll I'll dive down a YouTube like rabbit hole of, of what the people like, like pop in there, pop like the like the therapists or not therapists. Chiropractors. Chiropractors. Physical Although, therapists. Whatever. I love. What makes it even better though is when they do something and the person like they seem like they've gone comatose. Oh yeah, and they look like they're gonna die. There there was one dude. There was um. Oh, it was on the H Street podcast. They were watching chiropractic videos while they were like telling people how like pseudoscientific chiropractic 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 practices chiropractor. (laughs) Um, and they were watching this video where. Holds this girl in half and she screams. Holds a girl in half? What do you mean? Like like a lawn chair? Like she's like like that? Full scorpion. She screams and then she just she can't move. And he's like he's like trying to calm her down. Like this is supposed to happen. And it's yeah, I don't not. think that was supposed to happen. To I feel like yeah. I might know what you're talking about. Either that or it's just... Legs? It's, it's perfectly normal. It's, it's part of the normal. normal. I mean, yeah. uh, that's the thing. Your should come back in 10 to 20 years. You know what? <laughs> Chiropractors are a little... They're, they can be a little uh, touchy subject for some people. Because some people swear by them. And some people are like, it's a fucking pseudoscience that has no merit to Jake, it. Jake, what do you think? Uh, after going to a chiropractor having a bad, a bad back um, for like two more than two years like three years four years maybe um i think it helps at least i can't say it solves the issue can't say i won't co- come back with back problems like later but like yeah i mean for the time being that it was it helped and it's helped now i haven't had the same back issues f- since then and i went for a few months so i mean i mean i think it would feel pretty Damn good. Oh, no matter That's what, it feels good. Because what they did for me, what my personal experience was, went in, dude did like the whatever round of like popping shit. Basically. Adjustments. He literally was just like, hey, uh, put your head like this. Okay. And I was like, oh, God. But it felt great. It did feel really good. And then they would put me on this um, 
like bed or whatever and they put like little suction cups on me or whatever and uh oh, yeah they just electrocuted or whatever i guess you're back and you could turn yeah you you could turn you could change the intensity yeah, stem so yeah so it, it would it wherever like mine was like my kind of upper middle back and so they would just put it there and then you would just they'd be like all right tell me when to stop and they would keep upping the intensity until whatever and then you would lay there for 10 minutes uh i it, mean people have it's awesome i mean it's fun it's it's a good time feel great afterwards portable stem devices that they have like those little pads on themselves and they're shocking themselves all the time to be able to like manage back pain my grand my granny has one wow. and apparently I'm it helps sure a little bit it also so kind of sounds for... just whack i know well, that's what i was about to say is i'm sure it's so great for so many people but, but i'm sure that there's some freak out there who's gotten a hold of it and he just Dude, puts them on his nipples they are definitely I, I mean yo bro there are freaks out there at, if like, you haven't played with one of those things there are a bunch of freaks out there and put them on ranging parts of your body. What Turn parts have you put pen. them on, Michael? Just quick question. I mean, I, I like multiple parts of my body. I, not, not any, not any like real crazy parts. You know, just like different what would, muscles. What would count as a crazy part? Yeah, I mean, I the, you know. I don't think he needs to describe, does he? Yeah, I think that that could be left up the uh, the viewer's discretion. Oh no, I'm kind the of the imagination. But I'm kind of in that, the dark. If you turn so. that stuff up, because I had to do it for my torn ACL, and it helps like activate oh, yeah. muscles, especially when you've like when uh, like a muscles of a- atrophy, atrophy. At- 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 Is that the right word? Yeah. yeah, it's atrophy. Yeah, atrophy. So it's like it, it helps activate different muscles that your body may have like kind of like lost a little bit of control over, and it helps like kind of bring that back, which helps uh, with like my knee when I didn't get to use my leg for a while. Um, but I mean, dude, you can put that stuff and. It, if you crank that thing all the way up, it is excruciatingly it, painful. It is. It's and like I kind of like it, like, it though. It's like it feels like your no. muscle is about to rip out of your leg. Yeah, once you get it up there, though, they did it for my hip when I, in high school for cross country. But like once they would get it up there, or wait, Michael, did they ever do the thing for you where they put the needles in you and then they shock the needles? No, like they actually put needles into your it skin. Was wild! I was like, this seems like this like seems acupuncture? like something that should be done in an auto shop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many what, needles what? are we talking? They, was it just like one needle? Like thousands. So it was my it was my hip, and they would do it all the way. They would do it like starting here, and they'd have like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down a little bit lower. They'd have like nine Damn. at once. And they'd be shocking all of them, and I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's weird, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah. I could do it, but, like, I, I don't know. I, like, having something stuck on me and it feeling that way, I'm fine, because I'm like, no matter what, but what, once it comes off, it, I'm fine. Like, there's not going to be anything yeah. there. It's having something go into me, I'm like, ah, that's a little bit of an yeah. extra. And, and then shooting electricity, shooting electricity through it? Yeah, and then shooting electricity <laughs> through it. I <laughs> would love to have acupuncture, acupuncture i would love to just try it once at least because it's like uh, i have a bunch of needles in me but it actually kind of helps or feels good afterwards i don't know when they needed the needling on me it felt like i felt better afterwards yeah i I don't know i'm running for the end of the season at least i'm just saying i don't know i'm just not gonna knock it till i try it you know i i think Though the matter. though seeing a million needles in somebody's back looks bad, could be nice. You never know. Could be nice, but uh, that sounds like my literal worst fear. I don't well, think I would ever do it. That uh, Michael, yeah, yeah, yeah I I there, remember seeing the video of you getting your blood taken, and that, whoo, so that was a rough one. That was a rough that one was... for sure. Do you still have those videos? I never had those videos. Somebody else has those videos. Do you want to explain what like, happened with that? Because I don't think I've ever told that story. Well, it was all peer pressure. That's what it was. So we, like, for some reason, our blood drive was a very social and very, like, public event that happened at the Yeah, really? Wasn't that weird? No, yeah, I don't it's think like, it's that like, weird. Popularity thing. It, it really was. Oh, pop- and, like, I mean, you all... Yeah. And if you gave blood, you pretty much just got to hang out in the gym and get free food and, like, go home early. And so, like, I mean, it was pretty enticing. And I, I remember Nathaniel specifically was talking trash about me not giving blood. And I mean, I am notoriously scared of needles, but I don't know. I, I was easily swayed in high school. Be, be, like people, it, you know, if they if they they wanted me to do something bad enough, I I would end up doing it. 
So I decided that it was a good idea for me to give blood for the first time. Um, and so like, I'm freaking out a little bit. And so they have to take your, they, they prick your finger first, you know, and they like, they're like, you know, to make sure you don't have AIDS. And I had AIDS and so I could give blood. Oh, okay. And that's the end of the story, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um, but uh, for the finger prick, I was uh, I was pretty stressed about the finger prick. Um, and the lady that was giving me the finger prick actually proceeded to try and talk me out of giving blood. Because she was like, look, those needles are really big. Wait, <laughs> wait, ooh, ooh, ooh. I never heard this to, part. To Somebody tried to talk bigger. you out of it that worked for the Red yeah, Cross? Yeah, the lady that was... Either. The people that were get, like administrating like the blood giving were telling me not to do it. They were like, and she was like, once that needle's out of the package, it's going inside you. And I still did it. I, I mean, I, I didn't listen. To I'm their guessing advice. she knew you were nervous, right? She had. I mean, I was very obviously nervous. Yeah. I was concerned about the finger prick. I was nervous about the finger prick, and that's why she was like, "Yeah, dude, this is a finger prick." That's a big needle going into your face. It's, it, it's, a, it's a fucking big needle. I mean, I, I'm not um, even scared of needles that much, but when you see that, like, it just going, it, like, getting closer to you, you're like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> even now, it's like, it, like, makes me, like, tense up, like, even thinking about that stuff. Like, I, needles and, like, surgery, like, precision cuts with scalpels scare me, and, like, needles, that hollow needles that are being That's used to thing. take out or put oh, things in. Ah. It's that, See, tattoo that... needles don't really scare me. I've gotten a stick and poke where, like, they, you know, used a sewing needle and just, like, went away. Mm. And, like, it yeah. didn't bother me at all. But there's something about, like, hollow needles what? that really freaked me out. With... So, but I was given blood. So, like, I go in there, they, like, I mean... The whole process of them putting the needle in was uh, pretty jarring, but not terrible. You know, I, I, I just I looked away, and I mean, it was it was rough. Um, and I mean, honestly, I don't remember a lot from the actual giving blood process. I definitely I remember being manic, relatively. I mean, I don't know what there was coming out of my mouth. I was definitely very very stressed. There's some interesting videos of me like freaking out. I don't remember. I don't. I don't know exactly what it was said. Did you cut? Like, did you say you were cursing? I, I don't. I don't know if I started cursing or not. Because it was high school, so I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I would have, but then again, like, it was high school, so we were all a little, little, little sheepish, you know. I don't know. But yeah. uh, all I know is like, I got done with that, and almost like, I mean, I I went home that later that night. And I was wrestling with Davin, like my little brother, as we do. And I, when I got done with that, dude, there was literally like where they they took the blood. There was like, I don't know how big to describe it. You know the marble that you use to like knock the other marbles, like the bigger marbles? You know what I'm talking about. So they have the small marbles and then you have the, oh, yeah, the yeah. striker. Yeah, yeah the, the bigger. It was like that yeah. sized of a bump right where they had taken the blood and so my mom was like freaking out she was worried that i had like had like a blood clot or something and I oh mean, my god ah, i was a little bit concerned Kathy went to the worst possibility yeah that's yeah. a mom move though that's a mom move but she sure. didn't tell me that she was scared she didn't like i mean she didn't communicate that oh, okay. to me until it had gone down the next day but she was like yeah i was i was i was freaking out <laughs> um yeah yeah but that was a so that was the, the first and last time i've ever given blood because i thought i was gonna die Whoa. and so I'll, I'll probably i don't know people people are saying you know they're giving plasma and they're getting they're getting cash money for the plasma that's pretty that's pretty attractive, all it takes is michael to get some money for it to be like ah if you I guess me, I can I didn't do even it. get any money. I didn't get anything out of it. I no, just trauma. You, That's all I got yep. from giving all blood. All you got was some trauma. My coach was mad at me for giving blood because then I couldn't run that day, and the next day I couldn't run either. I mean, you did completely get peer pressured into it. That is absolutely what happened, which is not the Dude, worst actually, thing to get Michael, peer pressured that, into. But that, that remi- uh, No, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'll, I'll tell you later. It's not really that interesting. It's just about uh, our coach. Okay. Undisclosed coach discussion to be had later, but you know. Yeah, uh, I, uh, you know, I'll just get it out of the way because it's not—it's not even that interesting. It was just my dad was telling me about how he put something on uh, social media the other day that was like super 
cringy Christian stuff, but it's not. Even, it's a uh, man, the myth legend. Yes. Uh, what a guy. Maybe. May, yeah, maybe. Maybe Mike. Maybe Can either Coach. Confirm nor Coach Oh my gosh, dude! No one, no one, no one is gonna be listening to this podcast. You say I'm that, Michael. Like, you say that. Ten years from now, they'll go, them. "Oh wow, that that Michael guy. He discovered the cure to cancer and world hunger. Wow, let's go listen to his podcast." I'd be in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you would be in trouble, <laughs> Michael. Cancel my you would cure. be in trouble, <laughs> Coach. Coach, uh, they'd be like, "Yeah, I don't politically align with that Michael kid because of a podcast he did uh, decades ago. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not gonna let him cure my cancer." Yep, they'll be like, hey, "Yep, they'll As go. They I don't want it. I don't want it. I'd rather not have it. You know, just because of his political views from the 2020s. Yeah. I'd rather not." I mean, that is the climate that we're in now. Uh, well, yeah, maybe your climate, bro. My climate's fine. I, it's well conditioned. I'm good, bro. Maybe you. Maybe. I mean, it's starting to snow a little bit outside. I do not live cold. in a climate. Well, and then climate I, I don't know what anti-reality you live in, bro, but you need to you know, get back. I live in the That's... reality of... Uh, of what, uh, Dan? Dan. Of okay, what? I can't even, can't even remember his name. I was trying to think of the Star Trek episode that I watched this morning. Oh, Star Trek talk. Somebody said Star no, Trek. No, no, no. Uh, oh, did, did shit. You get nipped out oh, of shit. Right there. Star <laughs> Trek. Oh, shit. Nope. Where's my phaser? Where is it? Um. Anyways, uh, what episode was it? What? It was season three, episode three. They go to that planet, and everybody's been wiped out except those two people. And then it turns out that it's just one guy who's fucking destroyed the entire race. Well, you know, it happens. It happens the best. Oh, I mean, in the heat of the moment, I've destroyed a couple races too. I just. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of television shows. I forgot, Ben. We, t- we talked about this earlier. You know, uh, Office got taken off of Netflix. Yeah, fuck Peacock. Uh, no, thank you, Peacock. Me and Peacock, we got a deal. Uh, not It's not affiliated with the podcast. I'm actually singularly sponsored by them, so I won't bring it up here. But You know what, though? Peacock can eat my ass. Do subscribe I have to Peacock. enjoyed The Office, but I think, I mean... It's it's time to end that era, bro. It's time I'm tired to find a new show. The office everywhere. I'm tired of that being the go-to show that people who don't know each other very well watch. I'm tired of going to random people's places and then the office being on. Yes, Michael. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, like, That's I get I that for it. sure. I just find it very comforting. Like when I have nothing else to do. Like it's just very comforting because it was like when yeah, I was come home. I agree. At the end of the Don't day and watch. I... You know what else is comforting? Fucking McDonald's. But guess what? If I eat McDonald's Sorry? every goddamn day, I'm gonna start feeling terrible. And then if I go to my friend's house and they're like, "Oh, we got McDonald's for you." Oh, dude, I don't want to eat McDonald's again, bro. I don't think McDonald's I, is that comforting. I don't. But, hey, next time you go to McDonald's, we'd be sure to get chicken nuggets with honey. With honey. Bees. Bro, we'll talk about that like, later. We got to talk sure about – we'll stay on mustard. one topic for now. We'll talk about that later. Sorry, it's, I'm, what? I'm pissed off about that, bro. Now that he's out of – now that – we'll talk about it later. That's a whole different topic. Uh, yeah. Anyways, office fucking off Netflix. Good riddance. I agree with Michael. Every point he made. Uh – I like. Don't get me wrong. I like The Office. I have its. I. I mean, I criticize it. I. I it did become like a the freaking caricature of its own self. Like after season three, I mean, it, it did. Characters got ridiculous, and then Michael left, and then they kept it going, which was a mistake. However, <laughs> oh, all right, bed sheet. Uh, anyways, however, I do think that people have gotten too uh, too comfortable with it. I think it, it just became so comfortable that it was like, oh, just throw the office on. And then that just became the thing everywhere. And it was like, dude, I don't know. That I get. I don't know. It's like, I can't. So I, I really, I did love the office. I enjoy the office a lot. What is but... going on? Do you have a puppy or something? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no, no. Tom's in here. Oh. Serenaded me. Oh, is, is there? Oh, bro, we can't have that. There is no nicotine use on this program. We're also sponsored by truth.org truth i'm yeah it's see, not nicotine don't worry if you see this truth that was <laughs> that was non-nicotine that was zero um, percent vape juice <laughs> don't worry. that was so zero my percent. point about the office i enjoyed i i do uh did uh, yeah he's gone right fucking peacock censored him oh you're shit. not 
Oh, okay, oh, you're back. No, Thomas, you, you, what have you done? Oh, dude, dude, it fucked up. Is the mic not? Oh, yeah, the, the mic's, mic's not, not connected. Like... Uh, well, oh, no. you know, Tom, okay, now. Michael, it's, it's Michael, I'm going to mute you right now. <laughs> Fix your mic. Oh, no. Fix your mic and you'll be back. All right. All right Michael's going to be back soon. And now we get to explain. I'll explain Wait. my side. Okay. The honey story. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Now this, all the critics are gone. All the, all the, uh, big brothers gone. They're all watching. Now I'm going to fucking tell you a story. Okay. I go to McDonald's yesterday. I, I being the friend I am. I text my friend Jacob, Jacob, uh, censored last name, and I, I I ask him. Everybody knows him as Oscar. I ask Oscar, "Hey, you want any McDonald's? I'm I'm run by McDonald's. I'll get you some." He goes, "Yes, please." Well, he sends me his text. I don't read his text on him in line. Okay, that might be my mistake. I'll take that one. I'll take that mistake. Okay, I'm ordering. I'm reading off his text, and I see he wants chicken nuggets with honey. That comes from bees. This is what he says. With honey, that comes from bees. Okay. Now, I, now he's laughing. He's laughing. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is a joke. I'm like, Oscar is making a joke of some kind right now. And this is a funny joke from Oscar. Well, he later sends, uh, make sure they don't give you honey mustard with the nuggets. Now... Like I said, I was scanning this. I was literally already ordering it, reading it. So I scanned honey mustard, saw that down there, thought the best of it went. He was making a joke before about the bees and everything, you know. He actually wants honey mustard. I get everything, get honey mustard, come back, give it to him. He goes, did you get my honey? I did not. I did not get his honey. Uh, then they ridiculed me for not getting his honey. Uh, this goes now, this now becomes a question. Everyone who's watching this, I don't care if you, you usually don't comment or, or like or anything, whatever. If you got to this point, 27 minutes in, 28 minutes in, comment, please. Have you ever heard of somebody eating honey with chicken? Chicken nuggets specifically, I guess, but honey with chicken. That's what I was about to ask. So was he actually just eating? A chicken, with... he was dipping chicken nuggets in honey. So I guess it's more specifically chicken nuggets in Why? honey, but chicken with honey. Now, I'm not saying this is crazy because chicken and waffles exist, okay? And that's yeah. pretty similar. Syrup is a thick, sweet thing, crystallized, you know, sugar, whatever, I guess. And, you know, it, it goes with chicken, I guess. Whatever. So I'm, I'm not holding it against Oscar for eating chicken nuggets with honey. However... <laughs> I am questioning the widespread uh, notion of chicken and honey going together. So if you've ever heard of that, please let me know. If you haven't, please let me know. Um, just in the comment section below, if you can do I that, great. So many levels of confused, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. So nonetheless, uh, they got mad at me. Oscar specifically got mad at me. Especially, I mean, I'm not going to say I wasn't completely in the wrong. I'll, I'll be the first one to say... I probably should have read that text and not inferred on my own part. I'll say that. Don't get me wrong. I'll say it. it looks like Mike's back. But I do think... Yeah, Michael, what's going on? Is it working? Yeah, my mic, uh, my mic stopped working, but now it's working great. Uh, All right. I have a couple of things to say about uh, well, this debauchery. Well, I, that's, that's I should have... Right I need now. to mute Michael again. I don't know what's... First I think of his all, mic's first of all, up. first of all, if you all have ever Michael's mic stepped up. foot what's going on? in a Chinese restaurant... You will know that honey chicken is actually a quite common dish. Got a point. And, and I, I mean that I that shit is gas. I don't concede that point. Similar to orange chicken, but not quite. Um, second of all, Oscar clearly stated what he wanted. I already clearly. made that point. Yeah, you're clearly stated. And Jake chose to skim. I understand Throwing it was out. under pressure. Uh, under pressure. Throwing that out. And, you know, it may have been a little bit of an overreaction from, from, from Oscar's side. And I don't know why we're still talking this. I'm, I, I just think it's hilarious. It I is just, funny. I no, I think it's very I funny. I think it's very funny. That is why I continue to bring it up. Because the fact that he not only eats chicken nuggets with honey and then proceeded to send me a text message with it and then me not get it, I think that situation already is funny in and of itself. But the way Oscar reacted is the funniest part. 
because Oscar really wanted that honey. And l- thank God, thank God yeah, there was some the honey, honey there. Was about to go full, Oscar was about like, to go ballistic, and I don't think he would have eaten those chicken nuggets. What? Oh, he wouldn't have was he actually upset? Oh, he was legit. No, no, this was not. I mean, it was a joke on everybody else's part. Everybody else was like, whatever. No one cares that much except Oscar. Oscar had, he had value in that because that was his food. That was whether or not he was going to eat that food. And you know Oscar's particular. Now, another thing to be said about Oscar. He did, and I think we mentioned this a few times, he did almost break Michael's brother's arm over (laughs) ketchup. The situation, to recap if we've already told it, Michael's brother jokingly had heard that, you know, or well, he had heard that Oscar didn't like ketchup. So jokingly went up with a plate of ketchup to Oscar, kept getting closer. Oscar grabs his arm and then looks like, I mean, he is about to like, I mean, it is as we're death grip. I mean, he had a death grip on that kid's arm. It absolutely, it was Conlon, right? It was Conlon. I think. I mean, that is a classic Conlon move. It's classic Conlon. To overstep his bounds. But that kid could have had a broken arm. He could have actually had a broken right. arm. Who would ever that actually think that that is a boundary for somebody, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, well, he, Oscar's a particular human arm. being, so I mean, he's a particular human being. Very particular. And so that even more so, even more proof that the man says what he wants exactly. Oh, he and even told you to make sure that you didn't that, that it wasn't honey mustard. No, that, that that's my favorite. Mustard. That's my favorite part. Is at the end he literally said, "Make sure." They do not give you honey mustard with the nuggets. And I, I mean, but the thing is when skimming that, I saw the honey mustard and said honey mustard. Later eating that, I, mean, I went, yeah. yeah. It, it really but at the is, same time, it, that is a, so a, funny that he specified so much and then I still continue to give him honey mustard. I mean, it's just a funny situation now. I like it. But uh, you it know what? Funny. It is what it is. He got his honey. He warmed up in the microwave while it was still in the bottle. Don't know if that's safe. Could be. Let us know about that too. <laughs> Bro, th- th- people overreact about putting plastic in the microwave. Like, I mean, sometimes you know, you got a plastic bottle, or you got a couple water bottles. Like, you just throw that in the microwave until it's like boiling, and yeah, then you got boil, you boil some water, quick boiled water, quick boiled water. Yeah, it's quick boiled water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. look, yeah, the exactly. plastic bottle melts a little bit. Duh. I mean, yeah. And like, but guys, it's chemicals, okay? And guess what? Those chemicals are good for you. Because we need to fight, our body needs stuff to fight so that we can fight other shit uh, better. Er. Of course. Yeah, fight other shit goodly. Yes, thank you, Ben. Well put. Well put. Goodly. Thank you. Um, Every other time. So I just, I just shove dirt in my mouth every now and then just to get those nutrients, you know. Uh, Sometimes there's shit in it. I'll admit, I'll be the first to say it, guys. Sometimes there's shit in it. But what's so what's so wrong about that? What's so wrong about putting shit in your mouth? Yeah. So you could probably ask Jeffrey Star. Michael. This is the fucking second time I've had to fucking say it. Okay. I guess we'll get out of the way. Okay. Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, done. They're done. They're over. Done. And Jeffrey Star went. That looks like some good dick. And you know what he did? Pog champ. That's what he did. To Con- and then Kanye West was over here and was like, uh, gonna do, I'm going to do some Sunday service on Jeffrey Star. And he gave see, I'm he conf- gave him the holy seed. I don't see. I really do think it's like just a myth made up. But uh, well, Kanye reupholstered my pussy. Michael, I really appreciated yeah, that. Yeah, thank morning. you for that one. Uh, I needed that as I woke up <laughs> very early to drive to Northern Kentucky. And I hopped in my car and I was like, I'm going to check my Snapchat first before I go. And it was Michael Bryan telling me that Yeezy taught him. <laughs> and then I after I, I. And then after I applauded Yeezy for reupholstering Michael Bryan's pussy. Michael Bryan reminded me that I had never been to this part of Pussy Town before. <laughs> that it was uncharted, was lo- reupholstered territory. I mean, guys, that album, honestly, Twisted Dark Fantasy, my, my beautiful Twisted Dark Fantasy, I might go out and it's say my favorite album of all time, honestly. It is a banger. I think it's a little overrated, you know. Uh,. Probably my favorite album 
would be Scatman's uh, self-titled uh, album Why Scatman. We don't listen to Jake. So I think you guys have you guys wrong. been paying attention to Frank Goshen and what's all going on? Is he dead? Yeah. What's going on with Frank? What's going on? With God. What's going on with Frank? Well, I mean, Frank is dead. His brother did pass away. Yeah. August. I knew that that was gonna be playing into it or something. Yeah, that's a pretty big, big hit on Frank. And you know, we Frank, the man's, he's a little bit emotional. You know, like. What, J- I mean, Michael? What did he do? <laughs> what, what's he well, done? I, I mean, he, he didn't it's really do anything setup. that bad. I mean, he just like deleted all of his photos off his Instagram and then oh. okay. uh, started calling back pre-orders that people have made for a vinyl of a song that was to be released. That had already been shipped. And he just said, "Yeah, no, like those are coming back." Wait, uh, why? And none of them actually made it to their destination. They pulled before, like he pulled them all back. But he That's had released crazy. a song. Like he was, it was like Little Demons or Little Devils. Mm. This really is from his Reddit. I, I, I did from his subreddit. That's this is where I, what I've read. But he, re- like, I mean, he sold them pre-orders to this song. And then, I mean, definitely, like, just brought them back. But did he, he refunded, refunded them? them for the pre-orders, okay. but not for the shipping. Huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you know, yeah, but it's think like of the you, cost yeah. now, though, as part of like you get to be part of this broader story. I, I mean, mean, but why? I like, I just that. don't understand. Like, I feel like he's just disrespecting his fans. Like, I mean, like, why not? Like, I just don't understand. It's got to be some personal reason. Something ha- either personally oh, with the sure. song. I mean, I understand. Or... Like, you know, his brother. Like, that's rough. But like, you know, you've had since August to be like, you. I mean. Yeah, we're not going mean, to do the song, his you know. Brother, though. One yeah, it's his brother. I mean, it's kind of. And he died. I mean, yeah, but it's just no. odd that he. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, dude. It was just. It was all of a sudden. I think it was, it was a car crash, wasn't it? It was two people yeah. in a car, Damn. and both of them died. The car was ripped in half. Shit. Yeah. I mean, have you seen that picture of him, like, sitting on the curb, like, fucking by his brother's destroyed car? <laughs> I did not, but I no. don't think I. Want. I, mean, I honestly don't want to see. I don't want to see Frank that, that broken. Sounds, yeah, that sounds. I know. Sad. I kind of wish that I hadn't seen it, not because it's like graphic, but it's just. I mean, it's just so fucking sad. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, here's I mean, what I got. Like, I mean, this may be a little selfish, but you think he's gonna pour that emotion into some, into some songs? Yeah, man? probably. He's an artist. <laughs> oh, I don't know. When, it was when Frank tends to turn away from songs. It was when the weekend uh, broke up with Gigi Hadid, or who, who who did was he dating Bella Hadid? Not a clue. I don't know. Clue. Somebody Hadid. Um, he was dating, and then they broke up after a long time. And I remember I was talking with somebody, and I was like, "Banger of an album about to drop." <laughs> but I don't know. But this is a this is like a death in the family. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is like, very yeah, serious. Like this would get I feel like real dark if if it did. Yeah have to pertain to it but i mean yeah, i mean dark, i'd like to see times. i'd like to see what frank puts out in uh, Emo how frank. he copes with these kind of this kind of t- like these trying times yeah but i did think it was just whack that he waited until like 20 like the, the like the year changing to delete all of his photos from his instagram when he's had it for this like i mean that many months yeah but it's like yeah, yeah whatever go for it bro i feel like I, but i feel like that kind of not obviously it's so stupid to speculate on somebody else's mental their coping with something like this but just because maybe it's like i don't know it like you're in shock i would imagine you'd be in shock for at least like at least a month about something that crazy oh yeah so that was in august right i mean yeah Mm -hmm. he's gonna definitely i mean that affects you for a long ass time shock for probably like three months we'll say at least so you go august september october november maybe he's coming down he's like getting things together he's like and then december he's like this is what i gotta do moving forward maybe i don't know maybe i mean that he, he i mean i could see it that does that timeline makes sense but all i gotta say is the man is kind of you know wild and I was really hoping for new music coming out. It's just not. I know it's not going to. Well, you sad. can't. You can't hope. The day you stop hoping, it will come. You just gotta wait. That's true. It's got the day that everybody stopped hoping for. Uh, not Channel Orange. Fuck. Um, um, blonde. Yeah. Yeah. 
the day it came. Yeah, and the day. I remember. I remember oh no, go then. Every day, every day that we were on our Florida trip, John was like, "Today's the day." <laughs> I album, forgot about that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was literally like counting it come out. Like after another three months yeah, from whatever, or like time. maybe oh, even a man. year. It was something crazy. It took a crazy long time. But you know, you gotta let artists do their work because once it's done, it's done. And you know, that's it I mean, goes back to the Cyberpunk good. 2077 thing. It's like, I mean, once it comes out, it'll be remembered how it comes out. If you change it later, I mean, didn't Kanye West did that? He went back and changed songs like after they had already been released. From what? I, I couldn't tell you what. I mean, I don't, I don't keep up with Kanye West that much. Probably changes that need to be made. You keep up enough to know that he's slamming Jeffrey. Well, that's important to me. I'm going to do some more research. It is, it is, you know, just for like the the the, be, the the truth, the truth to be told. Like, was there a video of what of Jeffrey Star? Of Jeffrey and Star Kanye? and Kanye West slamming each other. Uh, probably, yeah, dude, probably not. No way, dude. Probably not. There were, I mean, it wouldn't be so hotly debated if there was. Or not debated. It would it wouldn't it be wouldn't like be, a rumor. People it wouldn't be, be wondering. <laughs> yeah. It would, yeah, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, they banged. Yeah, they banged. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, you, the, the videos can be frauded. You know, Michael makes a I mean, really yes. good point with that one. <laughs> videos a... can be frauded. I never thought <laughs> of that, Michael. For somebody to think of, you know, like, you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna deep face Kanye, deep fake Kanye West, fucking Jeffrey Star. Yeah, the biggest f fraud bid of all time to, to ever happen. I mean, that would be a mega frauded. That would be the biggest. Fraud. Dude, 20, 2021 has started off with a bang. No, Michael, 2020. And cryptocurrency 20... going whack? Yeah, Bitcoin. <laughs> Woo! Listen, Bitcoin's going up. Listen, Bitcoin's all to, the way to up to the moon, Alice. I gotta check, I gotta check my Robin To the moon. Ben, ben, I gotta no. check my. Uh, uh, yeah, Bitcoin's up. What were you uh, all the Dogecoin. Everybody uh, invest in Dogecoin right now. It's. Yeah. Listen, uh, I feel like we gotta get the elephant in the room out of the way. Yesterday was insane, but really, what is there to say? Oh you know, yeah, like, we never. Michael fucking... brought up some. I don't even know what you brought up. We didn't even talk about that. We literally Jeffrey started Star to talk about Kanye that, and then Michael brought up something <laughs> and immediately yeah. diverged the conversation. I was like, wow, okay, I guess that didn't Actually, matter. Actually, you know what? You know what, Jake? Whoops. I got to say, I think you did it with your outburst on Michael. Michael was trying to have a little one-off joke, and then you – I, I think I nah, think you took it I think it, I know? think it was Michael. I blame You're Michael right. for most you things. Just, you you could have so just ignored you me. Go. I was expecting him to be just ignored. But, we'll you know, we'll you, see. You you make it a big ignore deal. his rambling. I was acting out, trying to get ignored. I don't and... ignore people, Michael. Maybe you do, but I don't <laughs> ignore people. Okay, I take heed of their concerns and their That's and their problems, say. and I hey, try headed to listen. Of. Uh, headed. <laughs> okay, Mike uh, Ben, I don't listen to you. Okay, you're muted. Can I mute him somehow here? Okay. Um. Anyways, yeah, there we go. All right, Ben's gone. Uh, anyways, uh, so, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the capital. Uh, yeah, capital got raided by a bunch of uh, um, patriots. Nazis. Uh, well, you know, you can call them what you want. I won't say Nazis. Um, yeah, so but there were Nazis. There were Nazis there. There were uh, anti-Semitic people there. There were a lot of types there. What? Did you see the video of the? I think she was a congresswoman. I I can't remember. I don't want to speak. Oh yes. I don't want to speak incorrectly. Her yes. going. The one thing that Hitler got right. Yeah. Was that, that was a bad that one. That was crazy. She was from Illinois. Yeah. And I want to say she was a congresswoman. Was saying. She's a. She's I, a, a she duly say? elected what official. What was the one thing? So. What was the one thing Hitler got right? She said the one thing. You know, she was speaking, and in the middle of her long-winded point, she said, "You know, the one thing that Hitler got right is that if you have the youth, you have the nation." <sighs> wow. I mean, okay, well, yeah, that was. I I guess. I just liked Michael the birthday thing. Right. I, I agree with that quote. If you're going to pick any that quote, quote, that's such a bland-ass quote, too, though. I just like, don't, I don't need to be, I don't need to be to making, Hitler up to begin with. I don't need to be agreeing with Hitler in the first place. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I think there are other people <laughs> well, who have I, said I equally have good things or better things that I could probably spout what they said instead but of then, Adolf Hitler. Then it goes from so. like, <laughs> you know, he's right about this thing, and then, well, 
if he was right about that thing, maybe he was right about more things. Oh if you my have to gosh! Start out of, uh, start Why do out we have to use? Oh, well, you know, Hitler was. Got, Hitler right. said some. You just shouldn't say what you're gonna say. Hitler said some <laughs> good things. The fucking, okay. The news reporter right. that was that was recording it was in such disbelief. She was like, she's like, did I just? Can you guys see my light in my bathroom freaking out? <laughs> what? On this wall, yes. you see that fucking yes, flicker? Yeah. Oh, it's chilling. It's probably not gonna last forever. So I'm gonna shut the door. Um, yeah, no, the reporter that was <laughs> that was recording it was like, it was like, she just quoted Hitler. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I. Yeah. I don't know. Yesterday was weird. And why? Yesterday was weird. I didn't. And Michael, Michael, you were right. Michael, you were right, dude. I didn't understand. Trump did speak before they went, and he told them to go to the Capitol. That's Did what really? I thought. I yeah, thought that is. I literally rally. had not even. I had not. It, but everything was going on so fast. I was just like, "What's going on right now?" Because I, I mean, it was just crazy for a bit. But yeah, no, he he is completely the one who told them to go to the Capitol. So That's sure. it's like. So here's the question: Do we think that he's going to get removed from office before Biden gets dude, inaugurated? I don't fucking know what's going to happen. I don't care at this point. I want him, dude. Yeah, I want. I him. think no. I think he's taken the elk. I heard that he is conceded. No, he already conceded. Yeah, no, he did concede. Yesterday. He did I mean, concede like hours watch. ago. Like two hours ago, he conceded. Yeah. He released a video yeah. on Twitter because Twitter told him. Twitter and Facebook and Instagram all said, "Hey, if, if you don't get your shit what together, dude, you're not you? going to be able to have these accounts anymore." And so he was like, ah, "Okay." And then I'm sure all of his aides were like, "Hey, dude, you literally have to actually say don't do any of this shit. You can't, you can't go with what you said yesterday because that was bad. You can't do that one. You can't say you love them and for them to go home." Uh, <laughs> you're very special. You're very special. Yeah, dude. Ah, who? We love you. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm just waiting I for the twentieth. I kind of want to watch some of, like, I want to watch the speech that he gave before they went and stormed the Capitol just to kind of see like how, like what, like. How did he get what? him ramped up? Like, I mean, well, man dude, knows how to get him ramped up. They were definitely planning to go before. And I, oh, mean, I think they were, yeah. And definitely at his behest already. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just the whole thing is like, he obviously he started the fire and then just oh, kept fucking he, pouring yeah, he fucking started tons that fire. and tons of gasoline on it. But like, God damn. That's insane. Yeah, no, it's insane he's. how many people he got. Oh, I, but it, it is, but it isn't. Because really, I mean. I've been I I think a few podcasts back I talked about how I listened to George Carlin and just throughout like all these events quotes of his have have come up in my mind it's just like you know the people we put in office are only as smart as us so it's like you know really it's like it surprises me but it doesn't because the dude in office right now is about as smart or acts about as equal to all the people who just raided the capitol yesterday so it's like, oh, yeah. you know, we really only are as good as ourselves. And when we have those people who are th think it's willing to – or think it's – think that they have the right to act that way to try to, you know, get some sort of justice for something that isn't there, it's like, okay, well, this is – I mean, and that's the whole entire problem. It's like, you know, you can't – you can say it wasn't Trump's fault, but it was in the end because he perpetuated the, the myth, like I mean, we were talking about earlier, the myth of him winning the election because he didn't. And you can say there was voter fraud during the fucking riot. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember yeah. watching it live and they were like, OK, this just in. We got a uh, the president has released a video. And his like in his first sentence, I mean, can you even call them sentences? He's he's so not complete. But I mean, they're uh, yeah, he, he has his own like he's just such a poor speaker that it's no like... he's not no you cannot say that he is a good speaker because there there's only way there's okay. only, i mean he, he is, is a great speaker at all no he's he's not a in the way of a he's not a political speaker but that's again that is one of the reasons that people like him and that is why you have to be very particular when you talk about him because it's so easy to say certain things that people will be like no because technically it's like he is a good speaker not one that i would want to listen to because it's like he's very bombastic and everything but it's like it, he's bombastic, but people like that because it's like, oh, he'll say anything because he he's he's a person just like you and me. It's like, ah, uh, but he's not at all. Yeah, he's a fucking psycho, dude. It's not even it's not even that. It's like he is literally out of your class. He is out of all most of the people going to support him right now and are going to D.C. and doing all that shit. Uh, he is way above any of their like just literally just uh, like. 
how much money you have and in the class that you're in. Like them. I is, just don't fucking get it. He dude. is part of the club and he acts like he's not, but it's like, bro, you are literally part of the club. You are literally just part you of the club. You fucking elites. made the club. Uh, nah, he didn't make the club. Club's been around for a long ass time. He's just. I mean, yeah. His dad like, was part of it, so he got he dad, got in. Yeah. So you know, I mean, same thing happened with the Bushes. Same. I mean, you know what? I don't want to get super political, but well, too late. So yeah, this only needs to go surface deep. Do you get? Well, I can't remember. What did, did you guys say that you think he's going to get removed or what? Oh, so I I don't know. I think it really is. Uh, how much they really push that shit uh i, I mean, mean it's only a couple days i think it's a waste of time to try and just be i like, know right, it's like, like but i think it would also be symbolic let's start of like, working towards some fuck this guy yeah but the thing is it's like dude he's I mean, come he back he's come back with bro. a vengeance now 2024 you better be ready dude he's not coming back 2024 like well, you just can't like video, they wouldn't let him run again the don't, what do you mean who wouldn't let him run again the GOP that just tried I mean, to, dude, that just, I don't know, where what, um, over like 100 people were like. I don't think, I don't think the Republican citizens, this is such pie in the face of all the Republican, like, uh, some of representatives. Them. Some of them. I mean, a lot of them, dude. It's bad. Some of them, yeah. Uh, I, I still think, I think Trumpism, I think, okay, I mean, here's people, what I think. I think this is and here's what I know. Ending. Here's what we know from the election. He lost a lot of people in the suburbs, which is, you know, a lot of those, like, just kind of more middle, upper middle class people. But the thing is, he still has all the rural votes. He literally still has so many rural votes, if anything, gained rural votes. So it's like, I don't I don't think it's necessarily a the Republican establishment or the people who are already Republican are going to support it. It's like, the people who support him will support him. It's not a Republican thing anymore. It's a him thing. And they like it's him so Trump goddamn thing, much yeah. that they will die by him. And I think there's yeah. still enough of, of of those people to garner a presence and and really make themselves known and actually stand up and and stand a chance of getting the presidency again. I don't. Th I'm not saying he you will, but I think it's snow. a good chance. Holy shit! Is it really snowing that much right now? Yeah. Open your window, dude. I don't want to. I'm sitting down. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> Use a bitch. Oh, um, keeps going. Yeah, me too. I'll, it's I'll not sticking it at second. all right now. Ah, damn. If it's not sticking. It's not uh, oh, actually, yeah, it is. Never mind. I lied. Sorry. Shit. It's, so it's just starting to. Um, Maybe but... we'll get a white Christmas, guys. Uh. Are you dead? I just. I think. Oh, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Is that uh, I went up to Northern Kentucky today to pick up um, previous guest Max, oh, and nice. he was. He told me to go down this one street that he called the trump street and because it, it was used like, like they literally have cardboard cutouts of trump in their yard yeah. and it's just like it's like six houses back to back of just like trump is like sucking trump's dick and it's funny because right in the middle of two of them was this house with nothing but a uh, blm uh wow. yard Holy yard shit. Side. And I was like, I'm rough, sure they all dude. love each other. Yeah, I bet, dude, coming um, out, seeing your neighbors when you're getting the paper or whatever people do nowadays when yeah. they see other people. I mean, that's it's probably a nice fun. yard sign over there. Um, but oh, I mean, I bet it's funny because he was like, yeah, dude, it's insane. It's like they worship him. And we went down. Half of it was taken down. He was like, I don't know what happened. He lost. And I was like, you know what happened? <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah. I mean, he that's the thing. My, I mean, my, my my parents had to take down their MAGA flag a little bit ago. They didn't have to, but they You did. guys had a MAGA flag? Ben, we've what had a MAGA mean? flag for the past four years. No way. How do you Jake, think they you raised such that? liberal children? Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Michael, I can't remember. No, are, your, are your parents <laughs> no, MAGA? Yeah. I, MAGA I mean, though, my parents are, my parents are definitely not pro-Trump. They're quite against trump but yeah. my grandparent my granny is and my i mean my uncles my uncle Did is they, but like not as much but my trump? grandparents my my grandparents oh no my parents wrote people in or something oh nice i okay. mean i don't know i don't I, okay i probably shouldn't be really like exposing the voting habits of my parents but like i guess whatever whatever yeah. it's okay uh, but i mean my grandparents are a little bit more drastically pro-trump um like the delusional what but my, my grandpa or my, my my uncle, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to speak for people, you know. But like, yeah. I think, I think he the, some of the economic, and I can I can see like a lot some of the economic things that Trump put in place actually were 
like relatively helpful for some oh, people. For sure. Yeah. Which yeah, is like, they, I mean, you can't see. It's frustrating because, like, you know, I, I want, uh, like, our president to to be more than someone that just makes promises. You know, I want to, like, I mean, I like to see backgrounds other than just, like, politician. Because I feel like politician is just, like, that, that like, that title just doesn't carry any, like, trust, like, with me. Yeah, any, like, I mean, it's, it's kind of... So I want to see people... It's a shitty place, right? Who now. are, like, educated in doing, like, different aspects. Like, what I would think would be best is, like, having, like, experts on different fields of running a country and have them, like, work together to, to form plans. But right now, I feel like we just don't, like, I, maybe we just don't get to see that. Like, I get, the, I guess there's a lot of people that are probably working behind the scenes that we don't get to see, but I don't know why I don't see that. I, I think know well, a large part in. of the, no, Michael, the problem with that is, is that that is actually how it works. The president has, or supposed important, to. Supposed con- to yeah, important government officials have people that advise them, and it is supposed to be that's their first. Unbi- it's supposed to be genuine advice, but the problem is, is that they are getting advice from people who are paid by yeah, companies. Yeah, that's largely. that's the and problem the, with and every, the government is hamstrung. Everyone, everyone who gets put in office, bro. Literally every single yeah. uh, president. It's ab- literally like, a machine. I mean, if you look at so uh, with um, I can't remember her name, but one of one of the people that Biden just put in takes millions of dollars from wall street speeches and shit and it's like cool all right so we got another wall street uh person in there that's great uh it, it's just like i mean guys come on it's like can we not actually put in people who probably are the best person for the job and you might not be friends with beforehand but you did research and looked up these great. people and but i mean I, apparently that's too hard i don't know it, it's just like can we not? I mean, I mean I at least it's better academia, than academia, bro. At least it's a little bit better than Trump. You know, I'll say that about Trump. Trump's picks were a little, woo, they were a little out there. They were a little out there. Uh, but you know, I got it. It's all pretty. Really, it's all pretty bad want, in the end. If you want to like know why it is the way it is, and what simple fucking thing could be done, I, I, I okay. I've listened to one thing about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ben. Uh, starting the it, argument it, off real good. All right, know, you want to know? Okay. Well, I, I did mean, listen to one like thing. That's a good. You got to introduce of how much research you've done. But you, I mean, you yeah, but I'm just, I idea. just, I thought it was funny because it was like it's, immediately. It's okay, from fine. a source that I do gen- genuinely trust, uh, which is um, the stuff you sh- the guys at stuff you should know okay, yeah. do oh. try to. Yeah, yeah, they they have a um, they have an episode about. And, and they touch on it more in other episodes, too, because it obviously crosses into other things. But their episode on think tanks. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's basically, yeah, it's basically just like, oh, wait, is it think tanks? Fuck. I can't make a recommendation if I don't know actually what it is. But I think it's think tanks. Think tanks sounds familiar. I've I heard thought of the term think tanks. Yeah, well, think tanks are definitely a thing. And it's where no, a bunch I mean, of people. Think tanks is an actual thing for sure. I'm just Yeah, it's sure where like I'm a bunch of people conglomerate and come up with ideas to solve the big right. issues, correct? Like it's a bunch of really like high either elites yeah, yeah. or academics to get that get together and, and try to solve shit. What are think tanks all about? Uh, think tanks more like stink tanks. Or... Stink tanks? Whoa. Bro, we're not trying to watch. Yeah. Okay. Anymore. So basically, yeah, yeah, it is that episode. It's it's what are think tanks all about, and it's a it's a very good look into how, and at least a, an introductory look. I I thought it was really interesting to see like just how hamstrung the government is because of their own stupidity or because of leadership stupidity, and because of how complex the world has gotten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty damn complex. And the world has gotten very complex, but I do not feel like our leaders have stepped up to the challenge, nor do I feel like our government has realized that, I mean, like, to be able to progress, it takes time, effort, and teamwork. Like, that, like, at this point, it's not you, one person is studying uh, something and they, they make discoveries. This is, it, this is like teams of people are, should be working together for long periods of time solving problems. Well, and like, we're not, we're not, if we're, of like making yourself the best rather than being like all right i mean we should be like i mean th- there should be money that we're putting towards teams of people like oh, I-, I agree that makes sense michael but no no see michael they want the money that we don't need to put money towards anything 
they oh, need right, the dude. money. Exactly. The way Problem. things are right now are pretty profitable. Uh, they are pretty profitable. But you know what uh, profit is just shorthand term for? Uh, the money you make from the exploitation of labor. Uh, but, you know, we don't... Uh, shit, My, Michael, come up with some capitalist shit. We need to get cap capitalism back in here. Oh, well, I mean, like, I still haven't got my, my damn stimulus checks, so I gotta talk to my parents, That's, and they... Michael, we're not talking about socialism. Jesus Christ, Michael, I said capitalism. Uh, fuck. Does, has anybody I'm started a small about, business? I mean, I'm not necessarily talking about socialism. I'm just talking about the government and just, like, failing. My mom hasn't got any unemployment, and she's filed multiple times and they just keep bouncing her from person to person and like we won't a, that's fucking her. insane Mike, we need to be pro -American. Since August, Michael, bro. we need to be pro American here what the fuck are you doing I am I mean like uh, you this know this is I'm very the Michael idea. this is anti American you are being anti American you know what right we now. can talk about we can talk about capitalism cuz i mean i love that i can get on my phone and and have the potential to make a fortune using yeah, stocks. Yeah, there we that's go. Fire, yeah, Robin Hood. That yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, like, what the stock me market? Think that's pretty sweet. People the lose is their cool. houses, but the stock market continues to go up. Let's go, baby. The stock <laughs> market's up, going bro. to That's the moon, Alice. To the moon, Tesla, to the moon. Oh, man. Then when we miss the moon, we'll hit the going. stars. Uh, That's how the stock market's acting right now. Yeah, I oh, don't know. <laughs> it's, it's weird. I think we're about to have a big market crash. A bunch of people are about to be big evicted, and everybody's going to go, Biden? And he's going to go, evicted. oh... Well, hopefully so. Biden, I, mean, I don't know. I think he'll have better people to deal with everything. So, hey, that's the best I can ask The question for. is, can he do it fast enough? Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, yeah, well, we're kind of reaching the end of the podcast. Uh, I, I didn't really have much else to talk about. I guess, you know what? F fuck it. I'll, I'll end it on some controversial shit, guys. Okay. All right. Jeffrey Star is. Oh wait, uh, I had two things to say. I don't know. What? Okay, I don't know what Ben was saying. You gotta watch. Go info. watch Jujitsu no Kaisen. Oh Jujitsu! Oh yeah, Michael. Attention. Go watch that show. We're not gonna start. We're not gonna talk. We'll talk about it next. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it later. It I guess we should have fucking talked about it. Banging episode that. is gonna come out this weekend, hopefully. No, it's a not. That's not gonna tomorrow. be banging. It's not gonna be banging. It's gonna be banging, bro. The the, right. the festival's hey, gonna be sweet. Hey, right. next week. Hey, next week. Also, we'll know if it's banging or not, and we'll talk about it. Yeah. So come back next week. Wait, we need to have a we need to have an inauguration special too. Uh, we do need oh, to have. That's, that's the twentieth. So there'll be. We can either the next one could be it or the one after that. So you know, it's up to us. Basically, in two weeks. Yeah. All right. I'll dress well, up as um, Joe Biden for that one. Okay. Yeah, and then go watch AOT. But after that, that's all I wanted to say. I haven't even caught up with AOT, so don't do it yet. AOT, I need to catch it's up going right. off. It's craziness. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> that that was our little I anime. Well, well, since Michael got a little bit of anime in there, I, I you know, we haven't talked about video games enough. So, uh, you know, I've been... Ah, oh, shit, the mouse is on screen now. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Jake, I'm uh, going to have to go, bro. What? Everybody else no, I need to talk about video games, Michael. By himself. What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck. We'll talk about video games and anime next week, dude. I don't know what... You know, now I'm just angry, bro. You know. Saw people storm yeah, the Capitol. You probably feel like Oscar did when he got his honey mustard in his... In I his, do. Fuck. His, Where's my fucking <laughs> honey, bro? If, if, if it's not... Make, make sure. Make sure it's honey mustard from bees. Or from such bees. shit. I fucked it up, too. No, not honey mustard. You honey mustard fool. from bees. Honey mustard. He's a, well, he's a fuck up that's the best through. of both worlds. I'm I'm a fuck up of the year. Fuck up of the year. 2021. That's what I'm aiming for, baby. I'm so, coming for you. And Jake, up, Jake is already the fuck up of the year. I'm. Uh, yeah. I mean, hey, it didn't take long. All right. Uh, no, we're out of here, guys. Michael gave the one minute warning. That means we got a minute left. All right. Um, no, that meant that meant that meant. Give me a second. All right. Wow, minute yeah. minute of silence. A moment of silence. A moment of silence for Jake's honey that he. For the didn't. woman that lost her life in the, in the storming of. Nope. The Capitol. I wasn't gonna do that. I thought that was a bit too serious. I thought about that and then. Or the four other people who died from medical emergencies. Three other how about did. how about to this? How about to this? Moment of silence for, MF Doom. I'll, I'll give a moment of silence for. This. Ever listen Bid, to what the 